friends, welcome back to Prasuran's channel. Spell is in mnemonics. This video is for those who get confused with the spellings. In this video, I have given a few mnemonics to remember the spellings easily. I am sure once if you watch this video, you never go wrong with these spellings. Let's watch. Firstly, let me explain what a mnemonic is. A mnemonic is a memory technique which is used to remember something easily. It can be a word, a sentence, rhyme, abbreviation or a song. For example, the acronym Vibgayar is a mnemonic to remember the order of the colors in a rainbow. Another one is My very educated mother just showed us nine planets. You might be knowing this one also. This is a mnemonic which is used to remember the nine planets in the solar system. Here, the first letter of each word indicates a planet. But now, as you all know, Pluto is considered as a dwarf planet and excluded from the solar system. So, now to remember the eight planets, we have another mnemonic that is my very enthusiastic mother just served us noodles. This way, mnemonics help us to remember anything easily. Now, I'll dictate a few words. Just jot down. Take pen and paper. Ready? Yes. First word is grammar. Second word, hear. Can you hear me? In that sense. Third one is steel, that is metal steel. Fourth one, analyze. Next one is separate. Next, lose, that is opposite of tight. Last one is stationary, that is uh, writing material. Now you can check your spellings. If you have written them correctly, that's well and good. Otherwise, don't worry. I'm going to give you mnemonics to remember them easily. In this video, I'm going to give my own mnemonics to all these words. First one is grammar. In this word, everyone writes the first syllable gram correctly. But next syllable, mal. Here, most of us get confused. Whether it is M A R or uh, M E R. You might be knowing Hindi word Marna. Just you see for Mar in your grammar spelling. If it is there, M A R is there, then your spelling is correct. Next one is here. You may get doubt whether it is H E A R here or H E R E here. Remember, we hear with our ear. You must see for the word ear in this. Next one is steel. Metal steel has two e's in its spelling. In S-T-E-A-L, steel, one e is missing. Think that that e is stolen. So, if it is with one e, like in S-T-E-A-L, steel, it is used in the sense of theft. Next, let us take the two words, analyze and paralyze. Here, you may get doubt whether it is IAC or YAC. Remember, in English, these are the only two non-technical words ending in YAC. Next word, separate and comparative in both of them usually while writing the spelling we get doubt whether it is p a r or p e r you search for the word para p a r a in that if you find para then your spelling is correct in l o o s e loose with the meaning less tight you find two O's. In L, O, S, E, loose, one O is missing. So, we use this in the sense of mislay or not winning. 
coming to the last word stationary here the word s t a t i o n e r y stationary means writing material which includes paper you can notice here the letters e and r like in paper and the word s t a t i o n a r y stationary which means no movement or standing here you can find the letter a like in stand that's it in this way you can have mnemonics to remember words sentences and uh, countries and capitals for example the capital city of uh, qatar is doha you know in hindi do means two so you can remember it as cut into two kata doha right all this my students will be knowing and i want you to start planning your own mnemonics and improve your memory skills thanks for watching enjoy learning